expanded universe uh, chronological rating where I go through the expanded universe in my chronological order and rank every piece of media out of 10 stars. Uh, this is the seventh episode and today we have Dawn of the Jedi Force Storm number two or issue number two and uh, issue number two picks up where we left off with uh, Zesh uh, starting to make his way to the Tython system. It picks up at uh, Fury's Gate, which is the outermost planet in uh, Tython, where we uh, see Hawk Ryu from the Eruption short story, the Twi'lek Jedi Ranger, um, and he can sense that something dark is coming um, into the system, um, and he thinks that it's out of balance, uh, is one of his observations, uh, and the sensors on the uh, space station that they're on pick up... Um, some readings and so he uh decides to uh he's deciding that next he needs to warn master kato kato master ketu k-e-t-u who is uh the basically the grand jedi master uh of the order at this time and then we're introduced to shay koda the first time that i read the comics and then went to read the book I thought that Lenori Brock was Shay Coda at first because uh, they're similar visual characters and so I just assumed they were the same person but uh, Tim Levin didn't want to cross over obviously uh, so they're different characters but they're sort of similar except Shay Coda is interesting and likable uh, and when we pick up Shay Coda is uh, trying to wrangle her flying rancor which is a rancor dragon which has wings on a rancor it looks awesome and her uh dragon rancor is named butch and her uh jedi master is named uh quinjang and quinjang is really cool looking uh um he's got like uh these little goggles on uh he sort of looks like uh matt murdoch daredevil with uh the little glasses that he sometimes is depicted as wearing uh that they're, they're really cool looking I, I think he's very visually striking um and so the rancor is going out of control and when she jumps uh down this abyss to recover her rancor which starts freaking out and falling uh she receives a vision and her vision uh is enough to uh startle and uh, scare her uh, but it leads her away and uh then we cut to another planet in the uh tython system which is not on tython where shakota is having a rancor mishap it is on shikakwa which is the trouble causing planet and we uh meet baron uh baron volnos ryu who was mentioned in eruption the short story and uh an assassin is attempting to target him but uh his Jedi daughter, he's a crime lord, and his Jedi uh, daughter, who is the sister of Hawk Ryu, I believe. No, 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 sorry. Hawk Ryu is Baron Volnos Ryu's brother. So Hawk Ryu is her uncle. And her name is uh, Tasha Ryu. And uh, Tasha Ryu is a very interesting character. Uh, and so she helps her father defeat the Deveronian assassin who was there to take her out. Uh, and then she um, departs, and apparently uh, there's obviously some stress between Baron Volnos Ryo and uh, her mother, because uh, th they're obviously not seeing eye to eye, one of them being a crime lord and one of them being a uh, Jedi. Uh, and then we cut to my favorite character in the series, Seknos Wrath, and Seknos Wrath is a red-skinned Sith, because before the Sith were in order, they were a species. And so he's a member of the Sith species, so they're red-skinned and just really cool-looking. And Seknos is experimenting with Force Lightning right now. And he can create Force Lightning balls to shoot at people. But like 
Shaykota, and I should have mentioned this, Tasha has a vision as well, Tasha Ryo. So like Shaykota and Tasha Ryo, Seknos also gets a vision, and the vision is of uh, Zesh, um, and uh, in his, the Force Hound who uh, was teased to be coming at the end of the last issue. And uh, he's got his, like, bulbous mask on. It looks really cool. And uh, so Seknos decides he's going to need to go investigate, but not before his Force Lightning uh, experimentation has a mishap and he gets scolded by his uh, grandmother. Uh, and so then they, they the, our three heroes meet together at the point where their vision is called them, Shaykota, Seknos, Wrath, and uh, Tasharayo. And Shaykota knows... Tasha and Seknos knows uh, Shaykota, but Seknos and Tasha do not know each other. And uh, it's a running gag for some reason, but Sh uh, Shaykota, she calls um, Tasha Ryo um, princess. Uh, and so Seknos starts to call her princess as well. Uh, it was just a little joke for some reason. Um, and then what they see when they're at their vision point is a ship crash and they find the remains of a vessel which they're all all like oh what what what's this about and then out of the burning vessel crash comes zesh with his helmet removed and he's got the orabesh which orabesh is uh the language of star wars he's got Z and zesh is one of the letters of the orabesh alphabet and the orabesh alphabet is the uh, alphabet and language uh, of, of the Star Wars universe, and Zesh is one of the letters, and so the Zesh symbol is tattooed on his face, which makes him look really cool. So he emerges from the burning ship, holding his helmet in his hand, with the purple uh, Force Saber drawn. We'll find out later that these aren't called lightsabers back then, they're called Force Sabers, uh, which is somewhat interesting. So um, that's where this issue ends, and this issue... Uh, you can see that the story's beginning to pick up pace. Um, it's a huge step up from the last uh, issue. I'm already, uh, by this point, loving Seknos Wrath as a character. He's got a little bit of the comedic uh, tone to him, but he's just visually so striking and really cool looking. So every panel he's on is just a treat to look at because he just... He looks awesome, uh, the visual design that Jander Sema used. The, the whole Sith species just look really, really cool, uh, the Masasi do. And uh, I, I also like Shaykota. I mean, you've got a flying dragon rancor in this. How could you not enjoy that? And uh, I'm interested about Tasha Ryu and uh, who she's going to be as a Jedi since her mother's a Jedi, her uncle's a Jedi, but her father's a crime lord. I, I was interested to see where that would go. And although uh, I don't remember it going much of anywhere it's certainly an interesting group of heroes that they brought together uh so that that's uh the the issue took what was set up in the first episode and is really moving the plot forward the plot moves forward a lot in this uh issue and it it's it makes me excited about where it goes to uh another thing to mention is the art in this is amazing uh jander sema it's probably some of her best work because she does great artwork for Republic and for Legacy. But here, the colors just really pop and the shading on the characters and just the character design is all just really, really, really solid. The artwork here is amazing. Um, so out of 10 stars, I will give um, Dawn of the Jedi Force Storm number two six stars uh this this is a really solid issue and i really really enjoyed it it, it sets up what's to be an uh, uh, a really incredible battle and i will talk about that incredible battle uh next time uh but what about you what would you give it out of 10 did you like donna the jedi four storm number two let me know